Hello everyone, you're watching the Century City Westwood Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar. In the news this week, UCLA could open campus and in-person classes as early as fall, and Los Angeles City could face a lawsuit if it approves hero pay for grocers, so stay tuned. But first, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Santa Monica College, with more than 90 fields of study, is a leader among California's community colleges in transferring students. There's a seat for you at Santa Monica College, so find your classes today. Our top story, a Third Street Promenade property owner is calling on Santa Monica officials to deal with the issue of homelessness individuals sleeping and defecating in public elevators and stairways. We have the full story right here. We'll be right back with your local news after this. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood, UCLA has a few new plans for campus life starting in the fall. According to a university administrator, the current plan for UCLA is to reopen campus for fall classes. Housing, however, will be a limited capacity with triple occupancy housing not being offered, and they're gonna keep housing to 75% occupancy. This story was first reported by our friends over at the Daily Bruin. The city of LA could face a lawsuit from the California Grocers Association if it approves Hero Pay, which is a $5 an hour increase in pay for grocery and drugstore employees working at publicly traded companies during the pandemic. Just last week, the California Grocers Association filed a lawsuit against the city of Long Beach for a similar Hero Pay ordinance, stating that the new ordinance illegally interferes with the collective bargaining process, which is protected by the Federal National Labor Regulations Act, and that it singles out certain companies while ignoring other groups that employ essential frontline workers. Los Angeles officials are likely to be very well aware of the lawsuit in Long Beach and are considering the arguments made in the lawsuit while formulating regulations and recommendations for any similar mandate. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar and you take care.